Welcome back to Opening Statements. I'm Julie Grant. This morning, we're shining a spotlight on the charges against Real Housewives of Beverly Hills husband, celebrity lawyer Tom Girardi. Girardi was once portrayed as a man of power and a man of prominence, but now he's facing multiple charges of wire fraud for allegedly embezzling over $15 million in client money. He's facing up to 20 years for each count. He has been disbarred and he's also been sued by his former law partners. His wife, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Erica Jane, filed for divorce prior to the criminal charges being filed and has since spoken out about her estranged husband's alleged crimes, speaking with podcaster Zach Peter on his podcast, No Filter. I got criticized for not knowing and not knowing. At the end of the day, people show you what they want to show you right. and they can conceal them parts of themselves even from their closest friends, family members, spouses, partners, whatever you want to say. People can be very compartmentalized, and especially somebody that is as intelligent as he is. Yeah. They show you what they want to show you, and they keep you out of certain things. All right, here to discuss, I'm so pleased to welcome in podcaster and the host of No Filter, Zach Peter, and still with us in the studio, criminal defense attorney, former prosecutor, Noah Pines. Uh, Zach, I want to start with you, please. It's great to have you on opening statements. Thanks for making time for us this morning. When you heard the news recently about Tom Girardi now being deemed competent, meaning the case can proceed in federal court, what did you think? I mean, I was shocked. It was really looking at it. It was going to go one way or the other. Either he was going to be deemed competent or not. And I think nobody knew which way it was going to go. You know, he's been playing up this, you know, dementia and Alzheimer's. And I think, you know, even Erica has kind of been convinced that he does have dementia and Alzheimer's based off of what she's seen over the past few years. So I was I was shocked to see that he will be moving forward with the trial. Right, Zach. Yeah, the court's saying that they don't believe that he's suffering from it, that there were instances of feigning it in order to stall things. Uh, this is a really smart guy, as we know. Uh, Noah, so the court's not buying it, saying you're competent. Either plead or try the case or the options. What do you think we're going to see? Well, that's the old mobster thing, right? You show up, you are in a wheelchair, you pretend like you don't know what's going on. Um, at his age, if he can work out a plea deal that doesn't involve prison, that would be a really smart thing to do. If they're looking for prison, you know, at his age, why not roll the dice? Mm -hmm. Right. What's he got to lose by, by trying the case, right. huh? Uh, Zach, I have a clip from your interview with Erica Jane. It was an excellent interview. I watched the whole thing. I wish we could play the whole thing, but we put out the best parts here. We want to show our audience. Uh, this is where you ask her about her reaction when she learned about the legal accusations. What was your reaction to all the accusations? I felt horrible. Yeah. How? How, how am I in here? What's going on? Because everybody kept saying her lifestyle was funded off of all of these clients. Yeah, that's easy to say. So yeah. was every other lawyer that worked there. Yeah. So are we going to talk about their lifestyle and, and, you know, their job? And why are we attacking the wife when those people are, you know, hold, you have a law license. Yeah. I, these are not my clients. Yeah. Zach, you live in Los Angeles. I mean, you certainly have your finger on the pulse of everything happening in Hollywood with celebrities. How stunning was this fall from grace for Tom Girardi? I mean, it was shocking. We saw Erica and Tom's lifestyle on The Real Housewives, and you see them flying on private jets. You see their extravagant mansion in Pasadena. And, you know, we see her on talk shows bragging about paying $40,000 for her glam every month. So we really believed the facade that these were very wealthy people. And then suddenly you see her file for divorce and the whole house of cards comes tumbling down. I think as Housewives fans, as just pop culture fans who were familiar with Tom Girardi being this powerful attorney in Los Angeles and now suddenly seeing that, you know, he's been accused of embezzling client from funds from really big cases. Like it was shocking. And a lot of Housewives fans turned on Erica and we were like, wow, you sold us on the fact that you had this great marriage to this powerful man. And this whole time you guys were, were scheming all of us. And it was, it was shocking at first for sure. Certainly. Uh, you asked Erica Jean if she still loves Tom Girardi. Let's listen to the answer she gave you, Zach. Do you still love him? I love the man that I married. And I, I am sad and heartbroken at what has happened to him and his fall from grace. 
And I wish that this did not happen to any of them, yeah. to any client, to him, to his family, his daughters. You know, he has grandchildren. Um, so the fallout is big. Mm -hmm. And of course, I love the man that I married and I'm very sad to see what he has become today. Noah, let's talk a little bit about Erica Jane here, because we know this hasn't been easy for her. Even though she's not the one criminally charged, it's her estranged husband, uh, she still felt the heat for it, as Zach has expressed. And this has been tough. She's needed lawyers to help her navigate all of this, being named in some civil suits and whatnot. Yeah. As the criminal trial approaches, um, what do you think may happen with her? Do you think there's the potential for her to be called as a witness? And if so, uh, might she need a lawyer to accompany her and give her advice throughout that process? She would obviously definitely be a witness unless there's some sort of marital privilege that protects her from testifying against him. I still think, I'm still getting back to what Zach said. He, he was shocked that the housewives were turning on her, which is what mm -hmm. the housewives is all about, Zach, as you know. <laughs> um, you know, look, I am, I'm a cynic. Julie, you know that uh, in what I do <laughs> professionally when I see a lawyer or somebody who's spending all this money and you're like you know it doesn't make sense to me my wife was always like you're just cynical but I'm typically right about it um, you know the lawyer at least I know the lawyers in this town who are making that much money and when someone spins and you're like mm, they're really not getting those those kinds of cases it just kind of throws up that red flag and, you know, Erica said, oh, the, the law partners were making the money. Well, he wasn't stealing and giving it to them. Apparently, he was stealing and giving it to her. Mm -hmm. That's a great point. And, Zach, I love that you asked Allegedly. Erica Jane about this. Uh, right. You know, and, and she, I love how you said, you know, you signed off on the tax returns, uh, didn't you? Uh, remind us of, of, you know, what she said in response to that, please, Zach. Well, that was one of the big questions that a lot of Housewives fans asked her was, you know, you were signing off on the tax returns. You know, you how did you not know what was going on? And for me, I was a bit cynical going in um, because, listen, I'm in L.A., the third trophy wife that's young and blonde, like someone like Tom Girardi's not coming home and cutting the steak and telling her where the money's coming from. And when you're much younger than him and there's that power imbalance, you're kind of just trusting that, you know, your husband who you maybe have more of an arrangement with in a marriage, you're just trusting that he's taking care of the bills and everything's fine. And once you actually hear her tell her side of the story, she's like, I lived off of an American Express. I never saw the bills, all of the tax returns. Like he told me here, honey, sign this. She's like, he's my husband. I loved him and I signed it. You know, she's like, I didn't work at the law firm. I just did whatever my husband told me to do because I loved him and I trusted him. Right, Zach. Which I think is is fair, you know? Sure, right. And she, she made the point with you about how the law firm was doing business before she was born. And, and I thought it was a fair point in her defense that, look, who knows how long this alleged activity of Tom Girardi's may have been going on. It may have been going for many years. And I stepped into the picture, as you said, Zach, as the third wife. Um, and the way I lived my lifestyle was not uh, questioning things. I have one more clip I'd like to get in. Uh, this is where she's talking a little bit about Tom and his practice and how when everything unraveled, it was like seeing her hero fall from grace. The cool thing about Tom and his practice was that he knew everybody and you got to meet different people, smart. They did a lot of cool things. I learned a lot of things and I really admired him for that. Yeah. And that's hard when your hero kind of falls. Mm. Zach, she had told you how Tom was so much more than just her husband, that he was her lawyer, as we know. He was her mentor, someone that she looked up to because of the difference in age and the difference in life years and experience. Uh, how do you see things playing out, Zach? Um, we know that he's going to have to be answering to these charges in some way. Do you think we'll see some support from Erica Jane for him? No, I think she has. I think she's reconciling with having to grieve the man that she knew or the man that she believed was her husband, and now having to make sense of this new person that she's now discovering that he is. And so I don't think, you know, as she says in the interview, she finally blocked his phone number. You know, he would call her multiple times a day and, you know, want to check in on her and see what she was doing, even though she left him and, and is divorcing him. So I think she's really just trying to make peace with her life moving forward, clean up the legal mess that he left her in and just tried to, to rebuild, which is all she can do at this point. I mean, he left a real mess for her.
He sure did. Zach Peter, it has been such a pleasure having you on Opening Statements. My friends, check out Zach's podcast. It's called Hashtag New Filter. Uh, he's got so many great interviews that you want to see them all. He's like the expert of all things Real Housewives. Uh, Zach, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, and I know he's going to stick around with us when we come back. We have the very latest for you on the Corey Richens case. As investigators reveal her antipsychotic medication was found in her husband's system. We'll be right back.